Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number two. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the third episode of Forza Motorsport 4. I, honestly, it's so awesome to be able to say that. Um, this is going to be the Class F European Tour, so this is going to be us taking our car around a European circuits. We're starting off with Circuit de Catalunya, Mugello, Hockenheim, Silverstone, and then Nürburgring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. This is it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, do you know what I haven't done yet? So, I'm... I'm... I'm gonna have to play this entire race through OBS because I haven't swapped to my main display and if I swap to my main display it disconnects the source temporarily which would ruin the recording. So I'm currently driving through. <laughs> I'm driving through OBS. I can tell you right now, this is, I mean, to be fair, it's playable. The latency is very low for this, so. Oh, this is the uh, escape road as well. I don't know if that is flex or skill issue. Um, it's an issue. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it's both a flex issue and a skill issue. It's both. It's a flexy skill issue. Say what you want. Beep, beep. Get out my way. Beep, beep. Get out my way. Beep, beep. Get out my way. Oh, okay. That's uh, not the best way to do that. Circuit de Catalunya. Is lap number one done? We're looking at eight minutes a race already. Hello, that's nuts. Hi, I'm Phil Swift, and I cut my PC in half to prove the power of flex tape. Do you know what's actually kind of funny? So, um, we <laughs> work today. I, was just <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this, like, thing where if, if something comes into my mind, I'll just say it. And, uh, I, on two occasions, right, I just went, Hi, I'm Barry Scott. Bang in the dirt, he's gone. And then, to be fair, I was cleaning up, but it, it just came out of nowhere. It was like, hi, I'm Barry Scott. My name is Barry Scott. Brand new kitchen gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That that was perfect timing, Hunt. <laughs> that was amazing. I literally say kitchen gun and you send the message at the exact same time. <laughs> I 
The the thing is though, Barry Scott is like a real guy that did um, adverts for Silit Bang. But then I I think Kitchen Gun is just a parody of that. Bang in the dirt. He's got a bang bang brand new kitchen gun. I will buy your entire stuff. That guy's brilliant. What? What the fuck? What if I escape? I don't even have a mini map. I'm literally just looking at this game through. OBS. Mental. To mute one though. I mean, technically speaking, with how low the latency is of this, in theory. I can actually get away with just having a single monitor set up, in theory. Um, it's not the best, but it works. And if you load up Ava Media Rec Central, you can actually get like a full screen, just of whatever the capture card's seen. Pretty straightforward, it's just a circuit. I'm just a baby. It's just a circuit. I don't know why, but I feel like if Oliver Tree and Deadmaus did a song together, it would fucking slap. I think it'd be one of the best songs in the world. Right, I need to sort out uh, these headphones because um, they keep getting stuck in my fan so am i wrong though compared to free roam racing you're following an already made path eh, fair enough oh friday night cruiser i'm going for the full thunderbird let's go oh look at that oh, that's a beauty oh, i'm so happy with that one i'm gonna take it it is mine. I mean, what was it? Is it? I don't know if I can talk about this on YouTube. What is it they gave ADHD kids? As like, to help with ADHD all those years ago. Because I'm 99% sure it was speed. In which case, if it was, like, I think me on speed would be pretty normal. <laughs> But I may be getting that mixed up with- Oh! Oh, you tit. Okay, so after this one, um, after this race, because the first three episodes have actually been with the Citroen, we're going to retire the Citroen. Um, the Citroen will go into retirement, go to sleep. 
I'll have a rest. And we'll bring out a new vehicle. Scoot, scoot. Sell it to someone as a daily. <laughs> Can I sell it to myself as a daily driver? I need a daily driver. I need a car. Not even like a daily driver or anything. I, I just want a car. Let me get a whip. Oh, do you know what I have done as well? I've still forgotten to uh, change over to um, thingy magic to my main display. Right, don't forget to change over to main display. Just grind GTA Online. Wait, what? Did I miss? What's the rest of that? GTA Online and transfer money into your account. If only that's how it worked, I would be a millionaire right now. We'd all be millionaires. <laughs> I would love the thing is I, I enjoy work don't get me wrong I enjoy work but it would be nice to just have a load of money that I could just like retire and just like make YouTube videos when I want to sleep when I want to wake up when I want to you know that would be awesome I would be happy to have safe reserve if something happened. Exactly. It'd be nice to have just some extra money as well. Especially in this cost of living crisis. It'd be ideal. So expensive at the moment. Just everything. Electric is expensive. Rent is expensive. I mean, I'm paying, what, £600 a month for an individual room. Wow, 550. But some months it's almost 600 because it's done on a weekly basis. Like, not millions, but something extra that can cover something with these. To be fair, right, even if. I wouldn't want a lot of money, right? All I need is, and this is why I really want YouTube to take off, anything more than two grand a month, and I could quite easily, I mean, to be fair, I could probably get away. If I could get a grand a month, I could work YouTube full time, because I wouldn't have to travel to work. That's sort of the goal. If I can get a thousand pounds every month from YouTube, full time, like that. Obviously, by the time I start earning close to that, it'll probably be two grand because inflation. But like, quite easily. By the way, chat, if you're in the stream, feel free to share the stream out as it greatly helps support the channel. And if we hit 100 views on this video, on this stream, uh, I will gift a channel membership. And in fact, I'll, I'll do it for videos as well. If we get a video in at all in the month of August that hits 100 views, I'll gift a channel membership. Woohoo! 
now that I've said that, I'm going to be broke. But it has to be within 24 hours. I'm going to add, add that to the video. But, but if we can get this stream to 100 views, result. £1,000 purely on views or altogether with donations and stuff. Altogether. Because YouTube takes all the money, calculates it, and then outputs it as one transaction. So it literally, like, just be getting paid like that monthly. No matter what, whether it's a donation, bits, subs, it all goes through your AdSense account. So it makes it really easy to work out, like, how much I need to earn from YouTube to actually do it. I just need a £1,000. If I got 900 from donations and 100 from ad revenue, win-win. Like, if I can get that, I can be a happy man. I will leave YouTube playing your mega series. That sounds like a plan. Because <laughs> that, that does help as well. It really does help. Helps with the algorithm, helps with everything. Bringing home the bacon. Oh, lovely. We're level six again as well. So I can get more cars. Oh my gosh, I forgot how quick we actually level up in this game. So we actually get a choice of a Trans Am Legend. Now, obviously... I'm going to be taking the Mustang. Why wouldn't you? Actually, the fact that that works on YouTube it blows my mind. The fact that you can half speed the video and it doubles your watch time. If you look at the schedule, it does actually show you um, all of the streams and everything. It should also show on the live tab because I've got them all uh, scheduled and everything. So... I'm proper taking... I find YouTube is within the gap I can play. Awesome! Yeah, I find... Um, what's it called? I find YouTube is so much cleaner when it comes to, like, making content. Like, videos, streams, uh, shorts, all sorts. I think it's so much cleaner. I think YouTube's been around longer than Twitch, but not in terms of streaming, because YouTube used to be just video only, and it's only in the recent months that- oh shit, sorry. <laughs> it's only in the recent months that it's actually sort of- become like a streaming platform as well. Woo! There we go. I want to say 2006, because I think we're getting close to 20 years. But I'm not 100% sure. It might even be 2005. got YouTube with two years delay. Ah, fair enough. That might be why then. I think uh, 2006 was when it came out in the UK.
Honestly, some YouTube videos. It's just ah. Uh, I go back and I watch some old YouTube videos that I used to watch. How I keep going back every like six months to a year. I don't know why, but I have one series that I watch over and over again, and that's Markiplier playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Because I watched Markiplier, the first time I saw him was the first Five Nights at Freddy's game. And I will, once a year, I will sit down and I'll binge watch Markiplier playing through every single Five Nights at Freddy's game. Every single one. From start to finish. Even the challenge videos that he did, everything. My inner child is woken up, a hundred percent. But the thing is, it's like, I don't understand why. Because I'm not, a, I have never been able to finish Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't played it in ages. I still haven't played the new one. It looks so good, but I'm terrified of playing it because I don't like horror. And obviously, Five Nights at Freddy's is like the peak of horror. Five Nights at Freddy's, hands down, is one of the scariest games in the world. Maybe not visually scary, but in terms of just horror factor, I am very special. Yes. 100%. Yeah. In terms of jump scares, it's very scary. But it's the anticipation as well. The fact that you know something scary is coming. Beep beep, bitch. In terms of mental horror, there are definitely better games. But in terms of just the game that will scare you the most, because realistically speaking, it's just the sounds and everything is so well designed. For a game that is so simple, yet so scary, it's crazy. Ugh. Hiccup. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think the open world one is that scary looking. But it is very much just jump scares. All of the other ones, though, um, sister location, fucking terrifying. Oh, okay. Uh, I will. I will tell you right now, hundred percent. Right. Okay. Everything else. Five Nights at Freddy's might not be scary. The scariest, scariest game in the world. Five Nights at Freddy's VR. The virtual reality version of uh, Help Wanted. Scariest game in the world. Like, I kid you not, I have played it and I was terrified. Being immersed in Five Nights at Freddy's World? Nah. I have a clip. I have a clip on Twitch of me playing Five Nights at Freddy's and getting absolutely shit scared. I'm going to try and find it play it on stream because it is oh my god it's so bad I'm gonna have to find it now because it's gonna bug me if I can't find the clip well I'm gonna take my rewards and we're gonna go up to level 7 lovely 
Dirt Rally VR is fun. It's scary, but it's fun and it's cool. And obviously, I've got to take the Sprinter. Why would I not? I've driven this in every motorsport game so far. I think it was even the thumbnail, the first one, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to be taking it, obviously, black and white. I would bet anything, like, 100,000%, the scariest horror game in the world is Five Nights at Freddy's. Also, I believe this is the last Forza game that actually has the old Silverstone circuit. I think for uh, Motorsport 5, they actually changed it to the newer one. But they also changed a lot of the game going from Motorsport. Uh, 360 generation Motorsport to Xbox One generation Motorsport. A lot got changed. And what's even crazier, right, is Xbox One generation of Motorsport ended three years before the end of the life cycle of that console. Right, so we didn't get another one during the Xbox One life cycle. And we're almost three years into the series console life cycle, and we still haven't got a motorsport game. But it should be coming out soon, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be playing it on PC, obviously. The scariest game in the world is the set of course with broken mods. You don't know when it crashes on you. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the reasons why I just can't get along with modding that game. It's so inconsistent. So broken. If there was a way to make it consistently work, and make all the quality of the textures all consistent and everything like that, I'd love a set of calls on modding, but I just can't, I can't get along with it. It can sod off. Tarantula! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. A tarantula! Don't play with my side, I might sting you! Black tarantula! I don't like uh, The Island Part 2. I think it's a dreadful song. I'm so upset. So basically, Pendulum are performing in London in less than a week's time, right? I was going to go and watch them. But my PC decided, you know what, I'm going to go bang. So because my PC went bang, and I needed to buy a new motherboard, It was 160 quid for the motherboard. So I got a new motherboard. 
but then I didn't have money left. To, the tickets were 65 quid. Like, for, for tickets, for shows and whatnot, bargain. Absolute bargain. So I could have gone and seen Pendulum live and vibed along to Pendulum for a night. I want to see them live. I so desperately want to see them live. But I couldn't. I'm going to go cry. But for what cost? The cost was my sanity. Genuinely, it would have been so awesome to be able to go and see Pendulum. They're an awesome band. One of the best bands I've ever heard. I'd love to see the chemists as well, but obviously they've pretty much split up. Or I, d I don't know what's happened to the chemists. I just You don't hear anything about the chemists anymore. They don't make m music, so... The last song they made that was their own, that wasn't like a remix or anything, was Crevasse. That was 2019. Nero's pretty much dead. They've said that, oh, we're coming back whatnot but they aren't making music last song that they made was in 2018 and that was lullaby for the ninja album that they did and uh, that was not for long either time before that was 2015 so basically all of the good artists they've pretty much completely died out And I don't even understand why, because the music industry, it's its not an industry that can ma manipulate artists anymore. Like before, when you looked at like young starting artists and whatnot, they get easily manipulated by the music industry and they get robbed. It's so much more difficult now to get robbed by the music industry and yet music creators are like, ah, oh, well, can't be bothered. Oh, tough. I mean, feel free to let me know the behind the scenes of, like, music. But from what I've seen, I don't get it. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Also, uh, King of the Road, obviously got to take the Mark 1 Mustang. Obviously. What a car. I'm going to take it in green color. Is that a Subaru? Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Oh, yeah, the more expensive the car is as well. Um, what's it called? The faster it drives, like stream avatar wise. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is a new track. So, uh, this is actually, uh, obviously, it's not a new track. Jesus Christ. Um, but it's new to uh, Forza Motorsport. Which is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. The AI's gone too far. Oi. Oh my gosh. That was one hell of a collision. Is she trying to shoot through? Shoot balloon? A lot of the tracks that were added in this game actually did um, continue and make it through to uh, what's it called? To the later motorsport games, five, six, and seven. Um, so stuff that was added, like Hockenheim. You've got this one. Uh, you also have Infineon was added in this. Um, you're rock solid and you're weightless compared to them. But honestly, I don't know. I have no clue why I didn't get thrown offline when I got crashed into to be fair because I should have 
That's obviously the pit lane. I do find it crazy that uh, the Nurburgring GP circuit, the pit lane, is so long. I'd love to see them return to this track though. I think the Nurburgring is a phenomenal circuit. Very much, I would, I would love, um, I, th I think after Forza, or potentially midway through, I might do like split the mega series. I, I don't know what I'm doing, whether I'm gonna continue Forza and then start a new series or whether I'm gonna, towards the middle of the series, start doing another one and go back and forth between them. But I have decided, and I very much would like to do it, I want to do an F1 Mega Series. So every Formula 1 game, from F1 2010, all the way up until, um, what is it? F1, well it'd be 2024 and 2025 by the time we get to it. But I will do an entire series, like an entire season. So we go from the first track to the last one, and we race as Red Bull for the entire series. Um, mainly because I like the Red Bull team. Um, I, I do think Christian Horner's a bit of a knob, but I do like Red Bull as a team, so I can't fault Red Bull. Um, and we're basically just going to drive through and take part in the entire season. So every single season from 2010 up until I don't know and I'm going to try and get the wheel working as well which should be fun it be wheel playthroughs I'm just excited for WRC 23 why won't WRC 23 come around I was partly expecting a announcement for WRC 23, only because of the fact that um, with the announcement for, I mean, you got Generations, but Generations is a little bit dog wang. It's actually not a great game. Um, I spent full price on that game, but it, it doesn't run on the Steam Deck, which is a huge problem for me because I love playing video games when it's not... Like, while, while my PC's editing, I can't use it for games. So a lot of the time I have to spend playing the games on Steam Deck. So if it doesn't run on the Steam Deck, it's instantly lost points for me. So... Yeah. The, the frame rate isn't super smooth. Um... It's not the most prettiest of game. I mean, for the hours that I have played of it, it, it was alright, but not worth the amount of money I spent on it. WRC 23, on the other hand, if they can get it so that it has VR, uh, it has a compelling campaign mode, and... Um, it's got all the new cars, it's got some, every single rally that's in this season, at least. Maybe even add some rally cross, potentially. Could mix it up a bit. But all, all I want is rallies, as a bare minimum. And if they can add, like, European Rally Championship, that would be cool. There needs to be WRC2 cars, WRC3 cars to mix it up. VR is a necessity and good wheel support. If they can do that and make it run on the Steam Deck, uh, take my credit card, take my card, fucking give me it now. I'll, I'll pay £100 for it. I don't care. I just want a good game. Also, I'm buying the Chevelle. Woo! And I'm going to buy it in black and white. 
because I think that looks awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.